here we go. <sighs> Hello and welcome to another seated speed. We're gonna take it high intensity interval in a chair. I do have a set of light weights and they are optional. So I have a set of two and a half and a set of five pounds. We're gonna be doing some upper body, some core work that you can incorporate weights into if you want to, but know that they're still effective. You're still gonna feel the burn, even if you don't use weights, because something called gravity is gonna help us. We can use our own body weight, or even if you have uh, cans of food, bottles of water, if you want an additional weight, if you have wrist weights, you can add them in. Again, it is optional, and I will definitely talk you through those as well. So let's start first with our shoulder roll. And also, if you haven't gotten your water, make sure you have that. I have mine behind me. We're gonna sweat. <laughs> you know, if this is your first time we're moving with me, I'm just gonna tell you now, we're gonna sweat. We are athletes. I'm gonna bring you some athletic movement, help you feel energized, feel powerful in your body. Nice, big rolls, big circles. Three, two, one, reverse. I'll bring them forward. Just getting things loosened up. We're gonna take our time warming up really our full body because you're gonna use your core to engage in everything. We're gonna be working the lower body, the upper body, all the things I came to give you a workout. <laughs> We're gonna have fun doing it. <laughs> so know that you always have the option of being where you need to be. Three, two, one, just give me double pulses. If you wanna support on your thigh, or on your chair. I always recommend doing these in chairs without arms. Even if you end up doing them on a couch where you have room, right? Other side. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? It's like talking and moving was difficult for me. It can be it's like patting your head, rubbing your tummy. It shouldn't be, but I have my days. <laughs> Just really lifting up, bringing that over. A lot of extension in that side body. Keep going. Three, two, one. Now really engaged core, sit nice and high. I'm most of this, I'm gonna be at the edge of my seat just because I have a lot of movement and control here. I'm really secure, like my booty is engaged. I'm gonna bring it over to each side. So we're doing a trunk twist, warming up that core, warming up our spine. Oh, I just think I heard my back crack. <laughs> so keeping my hips facing forward. I'm just turning this torso to each side at a comfortable range of motion. So don't feel like you have to force that to get all the way to the side. Just come to that point where you feel that bit of stretch, but it doesn't feel forced. There we go. This feels good. <laughs> Like this is this is exactly how I needed to start. Give me a few more. Three, two, one. I was like, I'm thinking of something. Oh yeah. We're gonna do shoulder. So right here, elbows coming towards each other. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. And then open that all the way. Really kind of squeezing your shoulder blades together. Forward and back. There we go, warming up the shoulders. Again, we're gonna be doing some upper body movement. And again, you can use your own body weight, gravity, or you can use some weights if you feel so inclined to do so. We say everything is really just optional. Because <laughs> ultimately, I want you to be listening to your own body, giving your body what it needs. Sometimes that means more, sometimes that means less. Right, we might be working through injuries, some pain, some things that we just wanna be mindful of, or maybe we just find that movement is more, we can do it more with more confidence and comfort if we just take it down a notch. I know that is for me on certain moves, certain types of movement. I'm like, I'm better off and safer if I take it down. Three, two, one, let's just do a step. So this is really helpful I'm trying to see, yeah, if I'm at the edge of the chair here. It doesn't have to be high, but driving the elbow back, so I have this, and I'm bringing the elbow all the way back like I'm a speed racer. 
and then lifting using the core. You're absolutely gonna feel this in the hip as you're lifting, but try to think of that. Starting that engagement starts in the core like someone punched you in the gut and you're using that to lift that leg. Remember, drive the elbows back. It's a nice stretch in that shoulder. Again, warming things up. Just stepping it. There you go. It's like it might be the first time you're waking things up. Your first bit of movement today. So it's like ease into some of these. If your body is not ready to lift the leg fully, maybe it's just lifting the heel. And then once it's ready to start lifting, then go for it. I'm just giving you time to listen to your body. Five, four, three, two, one, yes! Okay, so we're jumping in. There is a series of nine moves. Yes, <laughs> we're gonna go through them. I'm gonna give you a break at the end of it. So this is high intensity interval. The intensity, I'll actually give you options of taking it at your own pace. For high intensity, if you want a lower version, you can just take it, uh, you can either take the move slower or maybe the range of motion isn't so big, right? So our first move we're gonna do is our good mornings. So I have my feet about slightly wider than shoulder width apart. My belly, I wanna give room as I come over. So maybe that might be a little bit wider. Maybe you feel like you're comfortable being a little bit narrow. Come to the edge of the seat. Fingers lightly behind the ears. Now we're gonna come over. Core engaged, sit up and hinge over. Down and up. Now my booty is super engaged. <laughs> this is working in this seated position. This is working your lower back. It's also working the booty if it's engaged. Adjust your feet. Maybe they come out a little bit further away from you. Maybe they're, I try to keep like my knee 90 degree angle, but that also means I have to come a little bit further at the edge of my seat. For that to happen, you might want to play and adjust for your body. We're all shaped differently, right? So that's why it's important where your position might not look exactly like mine. And that's okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Now, if you're using weights, this is the time to grab it. I'm gonna start off with two and a half pounds. I have them on the side because I'm doing some feet work. So right here at the side, right? Shoulders down, nice and open chest. We're coming all the way down, all the way up. So you wanna exhale as you work that muscle. We're not swinging it up. We're really nice and controlled here. Up and down. And now if you're not using weights, again, perfectly fine, just imagine that you have weights, that there's 20 pounds, because you'll notice once you just make that mental switch of thinking that you have something in your hand, your muscles activate and they work harder than if you're passively doing this move. Three, two, one, lightly put your weights down. I'm gonna go on this side. Then we're coming into our jacks. So you can step it, bring your hands down and up, or you can do both. Remember, this is for you. Maybe you do a combination where you're like hopping one at a time. One arm, two arms. Maybe you're finding there's a version that works that I'm not doing. That's okay. <laughs> the point is to be moving your legs and your arms at a pace that's comfortable for you. But I encourage you, maybe this is the first time you're ever doing a seated movement with your legs. And even if doing both at the same time is a little confusing, take one option and then maybe you play with it and when you're comfortable, get into this. Three, two, one, we're coming into a hook crunch. Fingers back here, lightly behind your ears, or we're coming forward and up. So, like you have an invisible ball here, like a beach ball, and you're crunching it between your torso and your thighs. Over. To add intensity to this, if you 
want to add a little bit more, you can raise one leg at a time. Make sure you exhale as you contract those muscles. Three, two, one. One more. I'm getting the weights back up into our shoulder press. If you're using them, bringing our arms into a gold post, we're gonna press it up, down. Again, exhale as you press up. There you go. Nice, strong arms. Make sure your elbows are in front of you. They're right, have them right next to me. So as I look at each side, they're right there. Elbows, 90 degree angle. Keep going, keep going. I'm just showing version without weights. Imagine that you have that weight there. I'm still working. Three, two, one. Awesome. Now we're gonna do a jack reach. So we're here. You can take it at this pace. Sliding a little bit on my chair. <laughs> it's okay. Or you can speed it up. Move at your pace. There, I'm a little bit more secure if I sit further back. And maybe that for you, finding that adjustment, it depends on what kind of chair you're seated on. Mine's very slippery. So some of these leg moves, I'm just more secure if I sit further back on it. Again, maybe the pace is here. Reaching up through, through, from heel all the way up to my fingertips in each move. So in order to get that form right on, maybe it is taking it slower. I'm just concentrating on what our body is doing. And then once maybe you've done this a couple of times, maybe you do this workout again at some point, and then maybe you feel comfortable enough to speed it up. It's always, I'd rather you be safe than anything. Three, two, one. I'm gonna grab a slight, I'm doing a five pound for this. So this is our overhead circle. Again, if you're not using weight, just imagine like I do not want this to roll over on my feet. Just imagine that you have a ball in your hand and you're squeezing it together. So here I'm taking the weight and I'm bringing it around, starting clockwise. I think it's clockwise. And then as soon as I get back to the front, I make this circle above my head. Now it doesn't have to be ew, so exaggerated where you're contorting, but enough where you feel that. I feel that here are my obliques. Back, other side, bringing that front core. This, it's like one of those deceptively, like, oh, that looks so easy. Then you do this a few times, with or without the weight, and you feel everything working. Trust me, you're gonna feel this one. <laughs> In like two days, you're gonna be like, what did I do? Why is it like core just like boom boom? Because you did this. Reversing it forward, making that circle above your head. Now remember, keep going, keep going. If you're doing this, it's in this imaginary ball. I still feel that a lot. <laughs> Three, two, one. We're going to do, I'm taking my two and a half pounds here, so we're doing our overhead tricep extension. So arms together, pressing my elbows like there's a ball, right? Like bringing them together. And then I'm bringing my arms from straight up, down. So bending my arms 45 degree angles back, working the triceps here as it's coming up. So I'll just show you, but we're using both arms. So this is coming down and up. And maybe if you're comfortable and you want to do one at a time, go ahead. So I know it might be a lot to think about, like elbows coming towards each other, bending, pulling back, core engaged, all the things. I get it. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Down, up. Woo! If you, if you didn't feel that. <laughs> Then you did it wrong. <laughs> we're going into our jack punches. So we're here. And I just want you to punch in front. And I'm bringing the foot forward with me. So take it at your pace. 
sit it up. Give me power. There's nothing in front of us, but we're putting all that power in there. You can actually even hold weights if you want to, if you want to grab the light weight. I'll do it, go ahead, keep going, keep going. This is our last move of this set. Before we take a water break, just make sure you don't hit yourself in the face if you're using weights, because <laughs> we just literally almost did that. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the weights down if you're using them. Grab a sip of water. That is round one. <laughs> well, hopefully you feel comfortable with the moves. Now that we've gone through them, I took time to explain them. And then as we go through the second round, maybe you feel a little bit more comfortable, right? Because we're repeating it, and now it's a little bit more familiar for you. Or maybe it's giving yourself permission to just have fun with it. I know sometimes when I learn something new, I get so in my head. I'm like, what's happening? This is moving, I'm confused, and I'm thinking that a lot of times I forget to just let loose and have fun. It's okay if, if you're overthinking it or if you're just like, I'm not getting it. Do something that does feel good, that feels right. Maybe it's another move that we did, and you're like, you know what, I just wanna do that one again during this section, it's okay. Maybe it's just doing your own thing. Maybe you have music jamming somewhere else and you're like, I just wanna dance for this, <laughs> for this 30 seconds. It's okay, we're gonna do it again. From the top, starting with our good mornings, we're doing each move for 30 seconds. Back to back, we're gonna take less breaks because we've already done them once. So feel, take a deep breath. Feel comfortable and confident, we got this, we're in this together. Here we go, good mornings, three, two, one. So I'm coming down and up. And even then, I had to adjust my feet. I'm like, okay, I did that, that didn't feel quite right. I made the adjustment and now I'm right in the perfect position for my body where this feels really nice and lifted, using my core, bringing that up, booty engaged, my elbows back. Three, two, one. Grabbing my weights for my bicep curls. This time we're gonna take it into a wide bicep curl. So I have it here, elbows in my side, down. So we're just opening it up to the side as opposed to in the front. Here we go, down and up. So I exhale on that muscle contraction because a lot of that power comes from the breath. Also helps us keep us from holding our breath. So I'm like, <laughs> when I'm about to pass out, I'm like, what's wrong? Oh yeah, I forgot to breathe. <laughs> Breathing is good. Here we go. Again, if you're not using weights, imagine that you have weights. There we go. Yes, building strength. Three, two, one. Gently place them down, going into our jacks. Here we go. Here we have options. Could be one at a time. If you don't want to lift your legs at all, you can lift your heel and raise this. There's an option. So many options. A few more seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Going into our front crunch. Here we go. And down. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not bending over. You're just crunching over here. Just the top part. Remember to add intensity, lifting up the knee. Coming towards the chest. You can even just lift up the heel, alternating that. Or maybe it's both. Kind of like that midway point where if you don't want to raise it, I get a deeper contraction here by lifting the heel. Three, two, one. Shake out the arms, we're coming into our shoulder press. I'm grabbing my weights again. Gold post arms, and here we go. Up and down. Nice, strong. Remember, elbows back by your ears. Right, nice pull back, not up here or way back here. Keep going. If your shoulders get tired, you need to bring them down. Shake them out for a quick second and then get back into it. It's okay to pause. It's okay to regroup. 
just don't quit. Don't quit on me. We're gonna get through this together. Five more seconds. I'm feeling it too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, three, two, one more. Yes, we are in this. We can do anything together. Here we go, into our cross jacks. And then we sit it back. It's like mental cue. This, I don't want to slide out of my chair. <laughs> Here we go. Nice reach up. Feel that extension through. As wide of a range as you can get. Again, it might depend on the type of chair you're sitting in, where you might not have quite that flexibility. It's okay. We're working with what we got. Five, four, three, two, one. Grabbing the one weight for our overhead circles. Here we go, up and around and then reverse. Don't rush this. It can, again, especially if you're not using weights. And even if you're using light weights, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm just doing do this super fast. Really concentrate on hands pressing together or towards each other, really activating each part of the core. All of these different muscles that are engaged as we bring this around. It's a different core muscle as we hit these different points of the circle. Like I, I feel, if you're not feeling this, oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Grabbing my light weights again. So we come into our tricep extension. Just like giving my shoulders a little breather here. So we come straight up. And then remember elbows pressing towards each other, bringing this down and up. So here, as you can see from this side range, I'm just bringing this down, straight back, and then up, pressing through. Down, squeezing that tricep as it comes up. Core engaged. This is, I can feel when it's not, I'm like arching, doing really weird things with my back. Like, and as soon as I engage my core, I'm like, okay, there we go. Five, four, three, two. One more, one more. Down and up. Place those down. Last move of this round, our punch jacks or punch step. There we go. Come on. The last move. So maybe you might feel like bam, bam. <laughs> or maybe it's a step. It's okay. Just finish this round strong, give me a strong punch. <sighs> like you're actually punching doubt and fear in the face. Three, two, one. Bam, get a drink of water. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Woo. We are gonna do one more round because I know you have it in you. <laughs> so, get a quick drink of water. Hang in there with me. I got this, I'm pushing you, but it's because I know you can do it. And maybe you never thought before that you could. And this might feel way out of your comfort zone. And you're like, oh my goodness, it was crazy. What is she doing? <laughs> maybe I am, but it's because I believe that you can do the hard things. And I am showing up and doing this with you because I want you to believe that too. And not only in this workout, but in anything, you have the strength, power, and capacity to overcome any challenge that's ahead of you. So we're gonna do this. One more round, here we go. Three, two, one, good mornings. Down and up. <sighs> yes. She did not come to play today. <sighs> now you really are more familiar with these moves. <laughs> so we're going for the third time there. <sighs> so do. What feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's going even harder this round because now you're like, oh, I got this. Three, two, one. Bicep curls. No break. I'm right here at the front like we did at the very beginning. Here we go. Down and up. I feel like my chair is shifting. Maybe that's just my mind. Down, all the way up. Slow and controlled. 
So when we take these moves slowly, it gives us a chance to really focus on form. But then it's really our muscles are doing the work, right? If I did this fast and I kept swinging, like my body is, my muscles aren't doing that work. Just like gravity and physics. Five, four, three, two. We're gonna go into jacks. One, bring this down. Here we go. I'm sitting further back in my chair, adjusting my chair. Here we go. Maybe it's a step. Maybe this is the third round. So you're like, oh, we're, we got this. And maybe it's, we got this. And you're adding the arms and the legs. Or maybe it's just doing the legs. And maybe you're just punching. It's okay, this is the third round. Remember to have fun. Don't forget to smile. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm coming up the front as we go into our crunches. I'm here. Just imagining this ball is here, crunching that in, keeping everything elevated. As I come over, I'm not like making my body smaller. I'm keeping it elevated, crunching here. I really feel that core engaged. Nice tall spine as we come in to this position. Three, two, one. Shake up the arms. Grab your weights if you're using them for our shoulder press. Whew. Here we go. Up. Yes, as I press this up, really feeling this here, my traps. Ugh, pressing this up. Oof. Right there, underneath. Yes. Three, two, one. Into our cross reach. Here. Keep forgetting I need to sit back. <laughs> to say it's okay if you don't get it perfectly because I like, have to keep reminding myself. I'm like, oh yeah. Why didn't I remember to do that? Oh yeah, it's because I'm human. <laughs> and it's okay, keep going. This chair, I'm like moving so much, I'm going everywhere. Five, four, we're gonna go into our overhead reaches next. Two, one. And the one weight, coming to the edge and up. <sighs> Around. Remember, this is an elevated, almost like you're reaching out. You're pulling your torso out of your hips. You're reaching so high. You're so extended. Keep that height as you come around in this circle. I don't want you to slouch into that. Nice and lifted. Core engaged. Yes! <laughs> I just feel all the power and strength that we've built through this workout. Three, two, one. Coming into tricep extension. Up, here we go. Down and up. The elbows might come out a little bit and that's okay. The idea is you're bringing them in. Adjust. I had to make sure that my arms were back, my shoulders were down out of my ears because I could feel that grabbing. So for here, even though our arms lifted, the shoulder, it's not up here, it's down. I'm bringing that down. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Last move, our jack punches, and then we are done and we're gonna stretch. Here we go. Remember, you have options here. Step. Yes. I'm just literally tapping my heels. Yes. Core engaged. Nice and lifted. We are going to finish it strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. You did it. You did that. Oh man. <laughs> mm. 
That was amazing. You are amazing. Let's stretch this out. Oh my goodness. First, taking our arms here, reaching it out wide. Oh, I feel that. Feels good. Bring it across and bring it towards the, the chest. You have some options. It could be just pressing here at the forearm. It could be doing the same thing here by the tricep or just cradling it either above or below the elbow and you're just bringing it across and then towards the body. Yes, to give you a nice shoulder stretch, exhale, inhale. As you exhale, you might have the opportunity as our chest, right? Our lungs come in as we exhale, creates more room. So maybe we bring this a little bit closer to our body, maybe a little bit further across for a slightly deeper stretch. Three, two, one, up and over. So I'm bringing this up, bending, and it literally is coming down on my shoulder blade. Grab here at the elbow, or maybe it's here at the tricep and pressing it back, whatever's comfortable. I have to maneuver around a lot of hair. <laughs> so sometimes this is just like not as accessible. <laughs> so it's like, you know, we're not getting there. Oh yeah, feeling that nice stretch in the tricep. Three, two, one. Release and bring that down. Same thing. The left arm, bring that out. Then across, finding that point that you want to use. Forearm, ooh, tricep, or cradle the whole thing. For me, I'm like, if I just grab the whole arm, it feels really good. Like that's my best option for me. <laughs> Breathe. You worked hard for this, and I hope you feel strong and powerful in the amazing body that you're in. Man, we did some stuff. I am like a sweaty mess. Three, two, one, up and over. You might find that you have to take a different position from one side to the other, and that's okay. I have more flexibility on my right side than my left, so this feels a little bit like have to work a little bit for this. <laughs> and it's okay, a lot of times we'll find that, you know, we might have more strength, more mobility, flexibility on one side more than the other, and it's just something that we can always work at. I love Wendy's. A lot of her workouts is just working on a lot of mobility. I just, I love that stuff. Three, two, one. We're gonna take it over here on the left side. You can open this wide if that's comfortable. We're gonna support here on our thigh. Just bring the arm over. Make sure you're lifted, right? So we always reach up, 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 and then bring that over. Never slouching down into this. It's really using that extension to lengthen this out in our side body. And maybe your gaze is forward. Maybe it's up at the hand. It's up to you, whatever feels comfortable. Three, two, stretch your chest. Release, bring it over, other side, and placing this down. Then first coming up, like I'm pulling myself out of the seat, bringing over that length. And with each inhalation, I'm lengthening more. And as I exhale, maybe I come down a little bit lower. Maybe. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. <laughs> like I feel like this is, this is as deep of a stretch I'm getting. But I let myself relax, I don't force, I just let my body settle into where it wants to be for each stretch. Three, two, one, slowly bring that up and over. Putting my right leg out in front, and again, lift it high, and bring that over. So feeling that stretch in the back of the leg, I feel it in my, my hamstrings and my calves. I keep the spine nice and tall, not rounding it over. Just literally hinging over until the point where I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> then I just support here. Foot is flexed, so my toes are towards the sky. <sighs> Inhale, as you exhale, maybe you come down a little bit lower. Again, these are just options. Three, two, one, bring that up, other side. 
Yeah, I'm lifting, lifting, nice and tall. And then with that length, I'm bringing that straight over. I'm gonna bring this foot a little bit, there we go. Just to allow room. Oh my goodness, that feels glorious. And as I'm bending, I'm still activating my foot. Like it's flexed. I can feel, like I'm activating my quads, my hamstrings. It's not a completely passive stretch. I like to keep things pretty activated. <laughs> you get facial and sound effects. As you can tell, and this is an intense stretch. Really worked our lower body, especially through all those jack movements. Three, two, one. Slowly bring it in. Deep breath. Maybe stretch it up. Exhale, bring it down. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. And if you made it this far, even if you didn't make it this far, but if you made it this far, I'm so proud of you for sticking in there with me. I hope to see you at the next one. And until then, be awesome.